Have you ever wondered how to get started with C? Where do I learn the C language basics? Maybe there are any suggested tutorials and maybe also courses on C programming. Well, these are very common questions and you've come to the right place to get started. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vlad Budnitsky. I am a software developer and also a lecturer with over five years of experience now. And I'm here to teach you how to get started with C programming language in an easy and attractive manner without, hopefully, letting you shed tears in the process. You will learn the fundamentals of C and create your first C Hello World program in the C language following step-by-step -step instructions. Also, just a side note, these tutorials require no prior knowledge of programming. You will learn where and how to write your first lines of code from scratch. So, with that being said, I hope you're ready, let's go! And let's first of all start and talk about what is a programming language. So before jumping into code, you have to realize this one thing. Computers don't speak our language. Computers do not speak English, Russian, Hindi, Chinese or Japanese. All they do is that they understand machine language, their own machine language, all right? And if we want to communicate, then we have to consider using a language that is more close to a machine language. For example, C programming language. All right? With the help of any text editor, you should be able to create a C program and specify the instructions in the C language. Then, thanks to some translator guy, also known as the compiler, you should be able to translate this program into machine language of your specific computer. At this language, the computer will understand what you want it to do and then it will be able to execute the exact commands. Alright so far? And once you know what a programming language is, which you do at this moment, now instead of telling your computer in English to display a hello world message on the screen, what we will do is that we will create a hello world.c file in some text editor and specify the commands using the C language vocabulary and grammar. For example, like we do it in the following way right here. Okay? So that would be the first program to print hello world in C using the C language rules, syntax and structure. So that's just a quick introduction to how it will look like, how the code for printing and displaying a hello world in C will look like. Now all that remains is to break this program into smaller pieces and explain them in detail. Okay, so let's go. First of all, if you want your program to display messages on the screen, you need to include appropriate functionalities for this task. That's why the include preprocessor in C is being used right here, okay? So in this line, we include a file called stdio.h and it's simply a library of stdio, meaning standard input-output, okay, pre-written code functionalities. So this will allow the program to use various input and output operations and commands during the program that you are going to develop. For example, one of the operations that you are going to use from this library is to display or to print a hello world message to the screen. So this was the first line. The next one is the main function, int main. And this function is considered to be part of every C program. It also can be represented in various forms. For example, you maybe have seen during your lectures int main, void main, void main with a void, and so on. Okay, so there are very, um, there are about five, six, if not not mistaken, options to represent the main function. Most of them are very, very, very similar. But what you should know by this point is that this function should be treated as an entry point 
to your program. That's actually where the execution of every C program starts. All right. Then what we have is the curly brackets. These curly brackets right here, they specify the boundaries of your main program. The opening braces show that the beginning of the commands block start from this part and the closing braces show the end of this block. And the code that you want to execute is going to be just between these curly brackets. All right, like we can see right here, two lines of code between these curly brackets. And one of these lines is basically this printf hello world. And this is one of the most famous commands, especially when you start working with C programming is the printf command, okay, the printf function. That's a printing or displaying to the screen function that you can use thanks to what you included previously, right, from the STDIO, standard input output. And this printf function, all it does is simply it gets some text between the quotation marks, in this case it's hello world, and it displays this text to the screen. All right. Later on, the second command is return zero, and it's used to indicate an exit status. In this case, it's an exit status, a successful status of zero. Okay, so usually zero indicates to the operating system that the execution and the termination of the program was done successfully. And what else? What else? Thanks to all of these parts that we just discussed together, you will get a hello world.c file nice, just like this. All right? So, a couple of notes before we finish this video is, first of all, is the usage of the semicolon at the end. Right here, you can see the semicolons. So, most of the commands you will use will end up with a semicolon at the end to specify the end of a certain command. Then we have some indentation, right? Oops, come again. Then we have the indentation, meaning this indentation of the code right here, you can see that it's a little bit moved to the right. And this indentation is being added to make the code more readable. Although in this program, it doesn't look much of assistance, but in the future, it will, pay, it will play a major role whenever you will work on more complicated programs with much more lines of code and more structure. Right after that, we have a text editor. We need to discuss what it is, okay? And that's actually where you will create and write your source code, this hello world.c file, okay? .c files are the source codes, in, uh, the source code in C language. And then whenever you will create it, you will start with some text editor. Whenever you are done working with it, Basically, what will be done is that you will use later on a compiler that would take this code, this source code, and translate it into target machine code. All right. So, final one is the compiler, and we already talked about it, I guess, even a little bit. Uh, so, the compiler is considered to be the translator of the program. It's used to translate the source code in C language, for example, right? into a target code machine language of your specific computer. That's about the compiler. So these are kind of a couple of notes to let you know how to get started and uh, how the process is going to look like, how the first Hello World program in C is going to look like whenever you will create it. Okay, so that's very important notes, guys. Write them down. They may also help you. Finally, what I want to say is congratulations. You've now created your first program in C. That's the actual code with the C syntax and grammar for a C Hello World program. So we can say, hooray! So now, what else is left there for you to do? I mean, you have your first amazing program. Here it is, okay, in C language. Now what? Now you need to translate it to the machine language and then you'll be able to run it. 
And the way to do so uh, can be found in the article associated with this video, maybe in another dedicated video I'll, I'll create uh, in the future, maybe I will put it also there, all the uh, installation process. Or I'm just saying, okay, maybe for now, the best idea, if you enjoyed this video uh, and you found it useful, then what I suggest you is that I invite you to check out my complete C programming course. And this course is perfectly suits students in college or university who are just getting started with no prior knowledge in programming. Okay, so it covers all the basics, including some advanced topics, uh, with plenty, really, a lot of C programming practical exercises with full video solutions to help you get started and to help you with some hands-on practice, okay? So, if that sounds interesting, I invite you to join and I can't wait to see you enroll in the course. Either way, I hope you have found this video useful. Feel free to share it with friends and... If I will see that this video helps lots of students, I'll definitely consider creating more videos of this kind. So, with that being said, keep on practicing, keep on moving forward, and you are bound to succeed. My name is Vlad, this is AlphaTech, I'll see you next time. Thank you.